Okay, so what we thought we would do is show you one of the fun mechanics that we've come up with for the opening big battle sequence in the Exodus of Wolfbane. The king has sent his uh, evil captain, Stanlish, to come punish the village for the mistakes that they've made. We wanted to have the epicness of the big battle with lots of villagers to worry about, but we didn't want to get mired down in fussy mechanics and have it take hours and hours. So here's what we come up with, and it's kind of fun. Fads taped the sheets down to the table. One of the things you might want to do as, the, as your players are showing up, have them just sort of read, read through this a little bit. It's fun to see what some of these villagers are like, to see the quirks they have, mm -hmm. but it will make this coming battle more significant if the players know whose lives are at stake. Or if you want to be really cruel, don't let them know what's going to happen and tell them, hey, go through there and pick out your four villagers that you want to play. <laughs> <laughs> have, them, have them figure out what they want to be and then say, okay, well, the first thing we're going to do is kill all you guys. <laughs> That's a great idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That is punishing. Yep. So we've got three sheets. Each sheet has 100 villagers, so 300 villagers we're going to start with, and we'll see how many are left in the end. I'm going to pretend to be the judge for this one. Mm -hmm. I have my own mechanics here and they have theirs. So I'm going to start off because this is a surprise attack. And what we do is I just roll some dice and wherever they land randomly, that's where the damage occurs. Do it real quickly because the idea is we want to show uh, chaos and things are happening so fast and uh, fog and of galloping war. Galloping through here and spearing exactly. people and lighting buildings on fire. So here, I got the number six. So I'm gonna mark, mark off six of these guys. Gone, six of them. Just wherever the dice landed closest. Nine here, three, six, nine, gone. Six more. And if you want to have fun with it, you can assign uh, a result based on the color of the die. So this one's red, so we'll say four uh, uh, volleys of flaming arrows came in, taking out those four poor villagers. Two more here uh, from huge boulders, because this die is colored that way. Nine more. We're also looking for, or I am as the judge, looking for tens, because those matter. And when we roll one, I'll talk to you about that. Two more over here. Who were one of those two? Rupert here, he's always in debt. Well, uh, not anymore. Martin, you're up. What do you do? You're, you're one of these people. What's, what, what do you do? All right, so I see this soldier running by, and I grab my pitchfork, and I stab at him with my pitchfork. Roll a d3. All right, here we go. Wow! Yeah! So he got a three, and that means success. And so what I'm going to do is mark off, or uh, one soldier has been killed here. And because it was a three, he gets to keep going. This is how we roll at Gaming Honors. So this, uh, this particular peasant has the feeling the bloodlust. He's going to stab another one. Uh, not, this not this time. So his turn is done, and I don't mark anything else. Lance, what you got? I'm going to try and save whatever villager this lands on. Love no, that. but I didn't save. I was trying to save... Uh, Mikhail Mears, who always has a, ma a mask on. A mask of death, uh, probably. Yeah. That was a decent round. You got one soldier killed, but it's my turn again. By default, we have the judge roll seven of these, but if for whatever reason you're rolling low and you want the pace to pick up, just add a few more D10s. So we'll get some over there, some over there, some there. And if one rolls off, don't worry about it. Just move it to whatever's closest. Any 10s out there? We got a 10. See we got a here. 10. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to mark off 2, 4, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to make a little secret note here in my judges sheet that... Oh, so guys, uh, bad news. These soldiers are getting close to Shadowford. They think they know where he's at. Oh, okay. And, and that's the mechanic for that. So they may want to do something about that. Somebody, the judge, or ideally a player, needs to help keep track of how many Villagers these are. Have died. Yeah. So each round, keep adding those up. Eight, nine, six, seven, two, nine, three, four, nine. Boy, this is going badly wow. for you guys. It shows you the uh, epic nature of this. You guys are in real trouble. Go ahead. I hear someone shouting that they're after Shadowford. And so I'm busy trying to cause a distraction. So I'm trying to distract them. Okay. Yeah, okay, there I do. Yeah, Martin successfully distracted soldiers. So this uh, one that we had marked down here, we're gonna get rid of that. So they're starting at zero again. So okay. that's really good for you guys. I'm gonna try and kill some soldiers with my pitchfork. Oh. I'm gonna keep punishing you guys here. Five, eight, eight, 
Nine, seven, seven. Uh oh, another, another ten. ten. Those soldiers are getting close again. Three, six, nine, ten, four, two. Looks like a lot of death here, yeah. Thad. So how, tell, tell us about this death toll. As judge, I know the magic number that we're targeting here. Got it. And once that number is reached, I know it's time to call it. Okay. And so and that's why it's important to track how many villagers are dying. And at some point when that magic number is hit, I'll say that the soldiers retreat for the night, and you guys can work on your next plan. Why don't we do one more round with you guys? All right, well, how about Vin Triscaro? Okay. He actually has a short sword, and he manages to run through one of the soldiers' horses. Excellent. Well done. That makes two. We'll make note of that. I'm going to try and save Matrina Grindy. You can do it, Lance. We believe in you. Yeah! yeah! I saved Matrina, the local healer. Marker, you oh. saved your life. Oh, so these are some actions we can make. We can attack soldiers, we can distract soldiers, we can save villagers. Exactly. And so even if I roll a die that's right near there, she's protected. Okay. And you can potentially have her as, a, as your player character, right. or just as a useful uh, NPC to help you guys out during the adventure. So at some point when uh, the judge declares that the battle is ended by hitting that uh, magic number, the soldiers go off and camp for the night. You guys have to pull together and decide what you're gonna do. There are some benefits that happen. And one of those is, based on how many soldiers that were killed, those count as community luck points. Ah, great. Yeah. So that's a nice bonus. Do we get to take anything off the dead soldiers? Any provisions? That's not currently built in, but I like that idea. Yeah, it actually makes sense. <laughs> that's a great idea. It makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Yeah. We just discovered something that's really good. Well this, is, this is how player characters <laughs> think. Yeah. Hey, can I get that uh, studded leather or whatever these guys got going on? Yeah. That was brutal, um, but finally they've left us. They've, they've ridden away, and now we're left to try and pick up the pieces. And there may only be 40 or 50 of these uh, guys left. Uh, thankfully, you get to be a few of those people. And Lance, you were talking before about uh, how we decide who you become exactly. Walk us through that. I'm gonna roll here. Sheet one, two, three, coming toward me. Sheet one, and I'll go red, we'll be tens, or we'll go, so 43. 43. Is 43 alive? Oh, sorry, 43 is dead. Who's but next to him? Bruce Ashlander, Ooh. the incredible athlete. Wow, I love Bruce. that's not okay. Bad. Bruce Ashlander. I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking immediately? Bruce Campbell. I thought yeah. you were, yeah. Yes. That's where I was too. Yeah. So I am on sheet two. And yeah, we'll do the, the orange dice as the tens. So I got a 43. And oh, sorry, that's dead. However, Tara Blake has heroically saved many lives. And you probably wow. saved some here. Repeat that process until everybody has their zero level peasants and let the adventure begin. Fantastic.